What's up guys, Litecoin Lawrence here and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial on the Binance Exchange. If you're not familiar with the Binance Exchange, they're a very, very large exchange with over 2 million users and they are one of the biggest altcoin exchanges now available. They actually are consistently in the top three um, for volume day after day for the past about two months now. So if you're not, um, if you don't have an account with them, you can simply go to the Binance.com and you can literally start, but this is gonna be a really quick run through. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to deposit funds, how to go through their markets, how to set stop losses, buy limits, so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so like I was saying, this is the Binance.com. You can literally come here, open up your account, um, 100% free and we'll just jump right into it. So this is their back office. Okay, so very front This is what's called their front page and basically um, What they have here on top are gonna be at all times are gonna be their announcements Okay, so the Binance is constantly running different types of contests and promotions that they always have going on So they'll always have like their announcements up here and you can see what they have going on a New Year's competition a waves con uh, competition has just concluded. They just started up. Um, they listed some uh, a new coin called triggers So you can always kind of keep up to date on what's going on with them. Okay, right underneath you're gonna see um, the coins with like the top volume and the top uh, percentage gainers. So you're going to see here we have a lot of volume here. We had a lot of percentage gaining and it'll just kind of give you the update on um, various different coins. Right under here is going to be the different markets that, um, excuse me, the different markets that the Binance has. So they have... Um, of course, they have their Bitcoin market, which they have over 100 coins available that you can use. And then they have their Ethereum, um, which is uh, another, you know, 80 or so coins that you can kind of trade of. Then they have the USD, which they have oh, about, looks about six or seven different coins. And then they have their BNB. Um, their BNB is basically the Binance coin. It is their very own utility coin that they have um, for this specific exchange. Um, it's used specifically for just paying, um, excuse me, for just paying fees. Okay, so you can actually um, pay fees with that coin and um, your fees are going to be a lot cheaper than if you just pay with Bitcoin. Okay, so that pretty much covers the front page. Um, they have a little search bar here so you can search for any coin that you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for Ripple. Um, you can see where it's available. It's not available there. They have it there for BTC. They have it there for Ethereum and they don't have it for USD. So you can kind of see that and you can um, go through there. Um, if we go to the top bar here, we're going to see that we have exchange and then we have what's called the labs. We'll open that in a new link and then we'll open that in a new link and then I'll go through those as well. So the Binance Labs is basically they help um, ICO projects and they hope that they help them with like a wide variety of stuff from technical stuff to marketing it to the token economics. Um, they, they help with the advising, listing, um, so on and so forth. So if you have an ICO that wants to that you want to get to market, they will help you with this. Um, pretty cool that. Um, then they have Launchpad where they actually launch ICOs. They help um, launch. So they recently did two of them. One was for Gifto, which was an ICO, and the other one was for Bread. They both sold out within just a couple of minutes. So that's very cool there. And then if we come over here to the right-hand side, we have where you can select different languages. Then you have um, the little mannequin where it says your account. Then it also says um, your Bitcoin value. Uh, and then it, you have your order section, then you have your funds. Okay, so your funds is gonna be where you actually deposit your, um, your, your funds. Um, so this is gonna be where you would deposit any and every coin that they have. So you can see that all the coins are listed here. And let's say for instance, if you were sending money from, um, you wanted to send some, some Bitcoin, okay, you would write BTC there, and then you would, you would find deposit and then you can get your deep, your um, Bitcoin address from here, and then you can um, deposit your Bitcoin here. So if you want to deposit from, let's say, Coinbase, or maybe you want to deposit from Gemini, you can simply do that here. Um, all of your wallets are going to be here, and um, that you can also um, withdraw from here as well. So that is going to be in the deposit and withdraw section. Under that is going to be the history section on any history that you've done with with the funds that you've deposited, and then there's your orders, any orders you may have open. Um, the trade history. Okay, so that kind of is that. 
Now we'll actually go to the exchange. So there's actually two different exchanges available with Binance. And um, the first one is this one, which is called the basic exchange. And this one here is very easy to use. Um, as well as the advanced one, this one here just has very, simplifies things and shows things in a very easy to look manner. Um, we'll just kind of run down through everything so you, so, I, so you can know what's going on. So over here in the left-hand corner is gonna be the pairing of the coins. So right here, this is BNB for BTC. So that's the Binance coin for Bitcoin. Here is gonna be the current last price that this coin has sold for. So that's in, in Bitcoin. So it's sold for about 60,000 um, Satoshis. And then they show you the USD value okay and then they show you the 24-hour change what percentage it's, it's gone up or down in the past 24 hours and then it's also going to show you right next to this the 24-hour high um the, the highest point that the coin has been in the last 24 hours then the 24-hour low the, the lowest point that the coin's been in, in the 24 hours and then the 24-hour volume so this is how much volume has been in and out of the coin so in this case there's been over 2,000 Bitcoins that have been in and out of this coin in the past 24 hours. Okay, on the left hand side here where this red is, is going to be, um, these are orders that are all for sale. Um, you can see the price of the of what they're asking for for the BNB coin, how many BNB coins are for sale, and the value in Bitcoin of that worth. So these are the, the, the sell orders underneath are the buy orders. Um, you can sort that by pushing this button here and it'll show you all the, the buy orders. You can push this button here and it'll show you all the sell orders or this one here or just kind of keep them both going. Um, to the right of that is the actual chart. These are the candlesticks and it's basically showing you the chart fluctuation on the coin. Um, up here, you can there's settings that you can switch off if you want to do like a five minute stick, if you want to do the 15 minute candle, so on and so forth. Over here is the death. And it basically shows you what death it is for people um, buying and selling the, this specific coin. Um, to the right of that is going to be coins that um, are are just available, like um, similar to the front page, but just in a widget. So you have your Bitcoin pairings, you have your Ethereum, your BNB, so on and so forth. You can click which ones you want. And then if you want to kind of see what's going on with that coin, you can actually click here and it'll open up in a new, new tab. Right under here is going to be the trade history for this specific coin that you're looking at. In this case, is the BNB. So we can see what's going on. All these people are buy, 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 buy. So you can see the market is going up. Everybody's buying right now. And then it'll say yours. We don't have any trades. So that's pretty much the back end there. Now, down here is where you actually buy and you sell um, the actual um, coin. So for instance, on the left-hand side is going to be buy. And the price is going to be the price that you put in, okay? You, you can decide if you want to put in the last price, if you want to put in a price a little bit lower, a little bit higher, depending on what you want to do. Then you, here is where you would put in the amount that you want to buy. If you're not really sure of the amount you want to buy, um, the Binance is all automatically going to tell you what amount you can buy based on how much Bitcoin you have deposited. So in this case, I don't have enough to buy one, but if I did, it would say it. Um, one, two, three, ten, so on and so forth. If you have a amount of Bitcoin on there, but you just want to allocate maybe a certain percentage, maybe I just want to do 50% of my balance, we can click 50% and then it'll automatically apply the 50% balance to here. So you could just buy 50%. And then once you um, set your amount, you just simply click the buy button in the bottom and then it will, it will just automatically buy it as long as the trade is active. Okay, right next to it is going to be the sell. So if you have any BNB, um, you can decide if you want to sell it, okay? So you can sell it um, here based on the price that you put or the last price that's going on. You can allocate, um, if you wanna do 50%, it'll come up, 75%, it'll come up, 100%, it'll come up, so on and so forth, then it'll hit sell. So that's the easy one. Now, now here's the uh, market price. Uh, market price is going to be the easy, easiest way and the fastest way to get to either buy or sell whatever coin you have. So it's going to go by the market price, which is going to be um, whatever price that is at the bottom here. So you're going to simply um, do the market price and then you decide how much you want to do. And then you say you want to buy um, 50 of them at the market price and then you would hit buy and then it would automatically execute the order as long as you had the um, equivalent Bitcoin amount inside of your wallet. Same thing goes with selling. If I wanted to sell 75% of it, 
I would sell 681 of them at the market price and it would automatically sell it at the very end market price. Then the last option here is stop limit. Stop limit is where you want to set certain specifications or rules on your orders. So if you want to buy um, this certain coin when it hits a certain point, you can put that um, to um, execute um, in this back office. Same thing that goes with sell. So for instance, if I wanted to sell 50% of my Binance when let's say um, I were going to, one thing I don't like about Binance, a side note is if you copy this, for instance, if I copy and I come down here to paste, it won't actually paste. So they need to fix that. So um, if I want to do the point one, two, three, six, oh, three. Okay, so six, uh, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so say I wanted to um, sell my Binance coin. Okay, um, so if I wanted to um, sell, like if the price was dropping down, and I that what I'm going to put here is going to be point zero 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 five nine one two three. Okay, so basically I'm going to read this off to you, and this means I want to sell. 454 of my Binance coins at 0 0.00059 Bitcoin as soon as it hits 0 0.006. So basically, um, it, this is kind of like an insurance play. Like if you if your coin is dropping or um, you want to um, sell, if the coin does start dropping, you can sell before you um, it goes all the way down. So I'm basically... Um, selling my coins at 0 0.00059 as soon as it hits 0 0.006. That way they can sell off and I'll be safe. Same thing goes if you wanted to sell for it for it higher. Maybe um, maybe you wanted to put this to go, you know, it, once it hits 0 0.0007, you want to sell yours for 0 0.00, um, or excuse me, 0 0.0071, you want to sell yours for 0 0.0070. So you always want the top number to be a little bit bigger, in this case, just a little bit than the bottom number. That way that you can make sure the sell executes. Now, the same thing goes for the buying, except in the opposite way. You want the top number to be just a little bit smaller than the bottom number, so then it can execute the buy. So that's pretty much sums up your um, complete Binance little quick tutorial. I didn't want this video to go on too long. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, as always, I really appreciate you. Let me know if you thought the video went too fast, too slow, if you didn't understand anything. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Litecoin Lawrence signing off. Peace.